staying inside and joining us on this Thursday. Yeah. We're back with Chef, Chef Pete, Pete and Chef right. Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Good to have you here. Yes, we're so getting back to work. Finished product of what you were having us do. My yeah. expertly crafted <laughs> pairing of an apple. Look at how perfect that <laughs> is That's now. Wow. I don't know what <laughs> happened while you were gone, but it turned out perfect. Yeah, what we did is we took some biscuits earlier. This is a double layered biscuit. We flattened it out mm -hmm. and a Tati did. And then what we did is we stuffed an apple. Look at somebody put a finger. Who did, did you put that? your fingerprint in there? I wasn't we stuffed an apple, turned it upside down, and we're baking it. So yeah. it comes out great that way. So that's a stuffed apple. We're okay. going to set this down here. Okay. Oh, Jack can take that. Now, one thing we're going to do next is we're going to actually stuff apples inside of a crepe. Blinces or blini is one mm -hmm. thing that you can do, and they're in the very front here. So what I have here is I have made a crepe, but you can buy crepes now in the stores. They're sold at Nino's, but you can buy them in a lot of different stores that are already made for you. And uh, there you go. Very Chuck, nice. yes, there sir. you go. So what we're going to do is take um, a, a crepe. You're going to place mm -hmm. the crepe down now. Obviously, apples are going to be stuffed inside, but you can't just put a raw apple inside no. because it's going to be crunchy, crunchy, even if you bake it in the oven a while. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I'll take an apple, I'll cut it into quarters, and then cut it into pieces about, oh, a half an inch, let's say, mm -hmm. and then saute them in butter. So you're going to take these and just cut them in pieces and saute them mm -hmm. in butter, and that's what I have that's right this. here. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. So it's like they've cooked in an oven, but they haven't cooked in an oven. So what we're going to do, and you're going to roll this, is we're going to take some apples, and you don't need a whole lot. Now I have ricotta cheese here. Now ricotta cheese, when it's in the oven, really melts nicely. Oh, it does. You can do that, plus you can do a little bit of, uh, let's say, Gruyere, mm -hmm. if you want to, a little bit of sweetness in here, uh -huh. brown mm -hmm. sugar, and some raisins. Now, Tati, you're nice. going to roll this up. So what I want you to do, for any of you at home that have actually made a, an egg roll before, you're going to do an egg roll. You're going to fold that flap over to completely cover it. There you go. She's got her fingers in there, just like the pro. That's okay, great. at that point, stop. Mm -hmm. Pull the sides in left and right to cover it. Get that point so it's smaller. There you go, like mm -hmm. that. And then just roll it forward. That's how I wrap Christmas presents. You do? <laughs> it's very fast. Is everything <laughs> you serve like a sausage? They all look the same. Look at this. Perfect. perfect. Yes. Perfect, perfect. So what you'll do Thank next you. is you'll just place all of your blintzes on a, a, a pan. Mm -hmm. And you're going to then butter them, put them in a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. They get crispy and golden brown, and they are awesome. Love wow, it, and that's it. what's up front. And Chef Jacqueline's going to show you some other yeah. dishes we did. Awesome. That's these up front, and then we also have our version of a Waldorf salad. It's Thai, so we replaced some of the mayo with peanut sauce, wow. and we just so added good. some uh, honey glazed peanuts on top. Wow. Uh, we have a savory version. Um, apples go great with many things savory, but this is pork tenderloin, and mm -hmm. we just did a little bit of rosemary and red onion with That's the rosemary apples. Rosemary apples, great oh, stuff. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then there's the traditional desserts. Of course, the apple pie, as we already mentioned, right. uh, the baked apple biscuits. Which we did earlier, right. And yeah. then we did a strudel and a uh, apple crisp. Apple crisp mm -hmm. is like the mm -hmm. yeah. quintessential apple well, dessert. Well, we have to admit that when then we went to break, we we tried. We have <laughs> yes. to. We have to well, one for the course. team. It's an apple fritter. <laughs> but that's these guys right down here, and oh, are they? They are delicious. Those are to make too. But yes. you know what's so great about what you're showing us? Again, not to be not to belabor this point. It's all pretty quick stuff. Right. It really is. Apples. I mean, right. maybe sometimes it's the pairing and the coring of the apple that's part of the biggest project. And mm -hmm. most everybody has cinnamon in their cupboard. They have right. sugar of some sort. Apples. Is Got all a little really butter need. around. Right, and even sauteed apples over vanilla ice cream. How it can't get any easier. Delightful. Than that. Delightful. All right, so what about your locations again? Let everybody locations, know. Locations, three locations Troy, St. Clair Shores, and Clinton Township out by the Partridge Creek Mall. We'd love to see all you guys. We've got plenty of apples. We've got tons of apples right now in yeah. so many varieties. And we have our apple guide, mm -hmm. which allows you to see all the different kinds of apples that we have right. oh, wow. and what they're this all used important. for. And guess what? Recipes on, on the, the back. back. Well, can't go you wrong. For? Yeah. We'll be right back, everyone. Good to we'll see taste you. test all this stuff for our viewers. Oh, of course. All right, everyone. So Chuck decided to challenge me <laughs> in yes. an apple pairing All right. contest. All right, let's go. All right, let's here go. we go. Let's see who get the longest one uh -huh. and who can That's go the not longest. That's a good head okay. start. Oh, oh you, she almost Ooh. lost it right there. I saw yeah, it got really got right? skinny. Chuck, you're going right? for the fat wide. Yeah, pieces. but you know, That's you've got to, the whole point is to leave some apple left over. Well, you don't hey, want to. None of, none of them have broken. How much time is there? How much time is there? We're going to go into the 11 o'clock hour if we have to. Chuck? Oh my God. Cheating, cheating. Have a great day, everyone. Oh we'll see you tomorrow. Stay dry and stay safe. Have a great one.